<laughs> you guys tell me who is more annoying. These fake natty juice head monkeys oh, oh, or the virtue signaling fairy boys that seem to be the next best experts on exercise form every few months. Yeah, why don't you show us your form in the sauna if you're so obsessed with it like you do with the rest of your buddies. You know, that makes for a good analogy. Is it more important that you're, you know, five degrees higher in doggy style? Or is it more important that you're beating the Morio coins out of their kitty? Same thing applies to weightlifting. Anytime someone says you're doing something wrong, it happens to be about form as opposed to weight being used, rest time, repetition, tempo, exercise choice. And these are things that classic bodybuilders have been talking about for dozens and dozens of years. I might have figured out some of these things on my own, but they're certainly not new. And if you do want to look like a marble statue, like you're chiseled out of steel with 17 inch pipes, you can go to frank-defaro.com for my full video workout course in real time. We did speak about rest time several weeks ago, so if you do want that full in-depth explanation, check out that video. The amount of time you rest basically dictates the weight. I mean, obviously, if you're resting a longer period of time, you can do more weight on that next set. The less rest, you have to compromise and reduce the weight. Vince Gironda, the original carnivore bodybuilder, advocated for very short rest time. It's brutally hard work. Well, Gironda's founding principle was to always strive to do more work in less time. So he actually recommended using less than 60 seconds of rest 30 seconds was his baseline. As mentioned earlier, his better athletes only took about 15 seconds of rest. And this is interesting to me because I actually didn't know this guy advocated for this until I was writing the script for this video. I started 20, 30 second rest times because I watched Kai Green doing the same thing. And as with all of these points, people are really just focusing too much on perfecting one aspect of their weightlifting regimen as opposed to getting everything to 70, 80%, which is far better than having one thing at 95% and everything else at 20%. Same thing about weight. Uh, you know, we made that ridiculous analogy with, you know, <laughs> playing with someone earlier. You know, you're not gonna get a girlfriend if you're the funniest person on the planet, but you know, you look like a gremlin and you live in a cardboard box. You have to have a combination of all of the right attributes to be successful. You know, don't focus too much on one thing, unless it's a really nice cardboard box. I mean, that does bring up another good point. The environment you work out in certainly determines somewhat how successful you will be. You know, if you have high-end equipment, really nice gym, you look forward to that every day, more inclined to be successful than you know, someone with cinder blocks in their garage, not that they're aren't people that have been successful starting out like that. Uh, it just requires more drive and more dedication to be in that situation every day. Another classic bodybuilder, Serge Nubre, one of the most aesthetic, desirable physiques of all time, did not lift heavy bro. Make the most of lightweights. Nubre disagreed. He never trained regularly with heavy weights, preferring to perform sets of 12 to 15 reps using a weight he could handle for around 20 to 24 reps. He swore pump training was more effective at progressively increasing the weights used during workouts than any other technique. And for anyone thinking those classic bodybuilders weren't up to date on modern training methods, they also knew more about diet. Vince Gironda advocated for digestive enzymes and vitamin supplements, the basics of health, which modern bodybuilders glance over in favor of drugs and calories and heavier weight too. When we move on to repetition tempo, we also have to bring up mind-muscle connection because the reason you're going at a certain pace is to efficiently flex and stretch the muscle. There's a quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said something along the lines of, I used to train five hours a day in the gym and there are other guys who train just as long as me but they looked like shit because they weren't concentrating. When Arnold talks about concentration and mind-muscle connection, that obviously includes the repetition tempo. I do think most people are concentrating just on the wrong things. 
it's ingrained in the average weightlifter that if you move a weight with a certain form, you know, your muscles are going to grow. But it's not that simple. It's not that easy. You know, it makes you wonder if they intentionally hide this old bodybuilding wisdom. That brings up exercise variation. Some of you may have heard of muscle confusion, which I think is relatively new. So I couldn't find any classic bodybuilders talking about that, probably because they all did it. If they were spending three, four, five hours in the gym, every single exercise possible for whatever muscle group they were working would have likely been done. But with all of these points, you have to understand the application. By doing different exercises, you're not like confusing the muscle and stimulating some sort of untapped, unknown growth. You're simply trying to figure out what exercises work for you. Then after you spend a few months to a year in the gym, messing around with different equipment, you know which exercises allow you to take the muscle to failure most effectively. And back to what we said earlier, make sure every component of your routine is as high as possible. You know, if someone's working out at 50% capacity and everything and half-assing their workout, they're going to be better off than someone who has perfect form but isn't doing anything else correctly. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know how you like this video. Uh, you know, I've been back and forth on whether or not to include this fitness bodybuilding stuff because it is taking a lot out of me on a daily basis, you know, two, three, four hours out of my day and I'm only doing one video a week, uh, you know, with what's going on in the world, you know, people don't even work out in gyms anymore. So maybe I'll, I'll make a video next week with my thoughts on that. So thanks again for joining me guys. If you could please just drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. And if you can share the video on social media, I mentioned earlier, frank stefanocom where you can get the workout routine as well as Frankie's syringe meat, Frankie's naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Blah, blah, blah.